Hooray! We are playing Kingdom Hearts. We're actually revving up for Kingdom Hearts 3 release. Uh, so Tom and I are making the wise decision to try and play through all of the Kingdom Hearts games. Yeah, we are. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Yeah. Uh, I am just going to put it out there right now, everybody. I've never beaten a single Kingdom Hearts game. You haven't? I literally got to the end of Kingdom Hearts. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we should do beginner. Begin with rare items in easy mode? No. I, just, I imagine like, no, 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 that no, way no. we don't have to like do any like hardcore grinding or there's, whatnot. There's... Unless you're, when I played through Kingdom Hearts, unless you were planning on doing uh -huh. like the Sephiroth fight, you don't need to grind. Okay, well then I trust yeah. you on this one. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, I can rip the camera I field. Nope. Literally got to the end of, or what I was told <clears throat> was the end. Oh, yeah. We need to turn down the volume on the thing. It was down. It's it's down to the the volume oh. we usually have it at. But I oh, think okay. it's no, just no, a no, little. No, no, no. That's fine. No, uh, no. I, I just I guess that sound just comes through super clear. It, it was a bit loud. We'll okay. turn it down a little bit. Um, I was thinking I the same thing. The, I got to the boss fight. Where the guy transforms into a spaceship and fly, or turns into a boat and flies around and is like, I'm flying in space! I'm a boat person! Pew pew <laughs> lasers! And I was like, I need to step away because I have no fucking clue what's happening in this game anymore. Oh man, this is bringing back kind of crazy nostalgia. I'm not oh, gonna lie. I'm, like, I'm, I'm actually like, as much as we have uh, talked about how weird this whole series gets and convoluted gets, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm getting kind of pumped. I'm gonna just say, um, isn't this where we get to hear uh, a mini concert go on? Yeah. So, uh, everybody. What's your name? Oh, shit. What's uh, name? I would like to present to you Hikaru Utara. Yeah, that's it. In literally every single opening anime song ever. Oh, man. This whole game is so stereotypical of like anime genre. I mean, it's like made by Square Enix. Here's the happy go lucky guy. Oh, no. Um, I just remembered. Huh. This is like right when they became Square Enix. Was the first one technically by Square Enix or was it still Square when the first one came out? I don't remember. Or I guess Square Soft. They I, have the I know the they went to best Square. friend. They went to Square and then they <clears> became Square <throat> Enix. I think they were, weren't they Squaresoft after Square? Uh, no, they were Squaresoft, then they went to Square, and then Square Enix. Okay. Also, by the way, uh, what's his face? Brooding, angry anime best friend? Riku? Half gloves. Yeah. Like, they cover his thumb, and then they arch up into his palm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It was great because, like, this game and then a couple other games that came out around this era, uh -huh. um, like, you could see popular fashion trends. So, like, they had the big chain necklaces. Oh, my God. And the, the fingerless gloves. Oh, um, uh, yeah. What's the other but one? Like, like, the little, like, the short jackets that came down to, like, your your uh, midsection. Oh, my God. Uh, speaking of tiny little short jackets that come to here... Yeah. I saw a picture of a celebrity dressed for Halloween as Trunks and had a professionally designed ja Trunks jacket that went to where his nipples are. Nice. Just like Trunks, <clears throat> and it looks phenomenal. So pointless. But yeah, uh, oh man, what was the other game that came out semi around this time? It was like a weird... It was like one of those old school street brawler style games. Are you talking like, about God Hand? No, 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 not God Hand. But it was um, you were the the main character was a uh, bouncer for a club. Are you talking about Final Fight? No, no. But it was a, it was like a Final Fight style game. Like Square Enix was like, we're gonna make a Final Fight style game. I thought, I thought that was I thought that no, that wasn't. It's not God, God Hand, Hand, but it's very similar in style. Huh. I don't know. All right, so. Here's an interesting thing that I only found out today, and oh god, um, the, the, oh my god, oh man! I will say the one thing I do love about this game is whoa, uh, <laughs> aesthetically, <laughs> yeah. 
Like aesthetically, eh. the game is so pleasing. Eh. 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 Um, but that's probably because of its beautiful blend of like Disney. This, your controller might be jacked. What do you mean? Um, so it's supposed to be tilt to to, to walk slowly, uh -huh. and then like full on to go run. Yeah. But see how it's doing that? I'm full to the left. It's like not registering the full left. Um, and it's like stuttering. Uh, oh. Unplug the. This? Yeah. Alright, we'll see if that helps. If not, we'll, we'll figure it out. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll, oh. we'll, we'll, we'll get this oh. to work, right? Power sleeps within okay, you. So here's the interesting thing that I found if out. You give it foam. It would give you strength. So, depending upon what you choose here. Determines your stats? Determines not only your stats, but your skill development. Huh? It changes everything, yep. which. I, I, I love that idea. Well, and it's also kind of cool because it's super brilliant in it in the way it do, it does it because it's like, hey, what are these three things? I'm not going to tell you anything with these three things. Uh -huh. I'm not going to tell you that they affect your gameplay. Yeah. But I'm just going to say, hey, just choose one. And it's just kind of like the, like, which one of these aesthetically pleases to you? Yeah, like, what calls to you? Yeah. Is it the staff? Is it the sword? Or is it the shield? And, and like... It's interesting, too, because, like, as a player, or I, I should say as, like, as a non-gamer, you will look at these three things, and they will speak, they will resonate to you. Right. But to a gamer, it... You, it, it, you kind of already get a sense of, like, what each of these means. So, to me, I imagine that you're the shield person. Oh, yeah, I took the shield. Yeah, of course you are. And then what? You use the, you get rid of the staff? Uh, the, the wand? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So... I have always gone one, wand. and then uh, I always it, it it changes for me. Like I don't know if I ever. I, I it, it's hard to, to for my sacrifice because mm -hmm. what will you give up in exchange? Gul'dan just pops in everything, and then Disney's just like, okay, <laughs> the power of the mystic inner strength. A staff of wonder and yeah. ruin? Ain't about that magic life. Ain't nobody got time for that. You've given up the power of the mystic. Is this the form you choose? Yeah. Oh, no. Hell yeah, it is. Good, because if you took the path of the staff, it's like 40 years of your life given up to apprenticeship. Th this game changes completely. You have to study from here on out. <laughs> Prepare for 40 hours of just text. <laughs> um, hilariously, though, people actually did math out, like, essentially the Ooh. stats that you get. Uh, yeah. And, like, which path is actually the the, the optimal choice. Uh huh. I forget what it is. I actually think it might be shield, give up sword. I mean, logically, that makes sense to me because, like, having good defense and then... Um having like strong magic to overcome like physical defenses it, yeah it just makes a lot of sense to me yay the heartless look at them they're so cute so i never thought that these were heartless ah! i just called them ant people ant i mean they look like little ants yeah they just look like tiny little ants and it was like oh, no, mm, okay away. you gain exp through leveling thanks for Teach me how to play different video games. Different items do different things that itemy things do differently. Oh no, look out. Behind you. you! Press R1 to target. Oh yeah. Lock on will appear. R1 to release. Oh, look at this. This is, this, this is like, uh, as much trash as I've spoken about this game, I definitely do get that sense of nostalgia yeah. from this. Even though, like, so this is, like, the one thing that I've always, like, as, as I've gotten older. Oh, man, I feel like an old man as I say it. As I'm I've gotten old, old As I've gotten older, I've learned some things, and one of them is to <laughs> never trust nostalgia. Nostalgia will kill you. It actually hates you. Because of nostalgia, you date your ex. Oh, and God. And that ruined your life. 
Be beachy dubs, kids. That that one was like super real. Ah! Well, I have ridiculously blue eyes. Yep. I'm curious as to what they actually updated. Um. Uh. So this one is 1.5. This is a field icon. One point like eight or something like that remix or right. 1. 5 remix no I'm sure, I know but like I'm curious as to like what they actually updated in the game because the character model hey. looks kind of new but at the same time I'm like I mean, I'm not it, it sure. definitely is um, more high res yeah uh, I definitely see or at least I feel like I see like better like um, like ambient occlusion or color gradients or whatever nonsense words you want to use why am I pushing this? You can also smash them. <laughs> oh, that weird noise that the the, the, the weapons you make. Yeah. Like it's so comical. Like it's hard. Hmm. Hmm. It's comical and silly. I love it. I broke you. You broke my thing. I'm gonna kick you up and make this door real. You prank my dad. You prank my barrel. Take that barrel. Get pranked. Barrel. What's the name of my doctor's wife? Barrel? Yep, barrel. B E R E L B. -E God, his eyes are kind of freaking me out a little bit. Uh yeah. I don't know what it is about them. They just Is it the fact that they are uh blue with darker blue inside of them? Yeah. I don't think uh, did, Tell me does about he have a sclera in his eyes? The the white part? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. The touchpad again to do stuff. Oh, you can use the touchpad to drop that. Oh, to go to first person mode. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. so here's another super interesting thing. Uh, so you, you talk to them and it will uh, calculate out uh, a certain value in the game. Yeah. And then this is where you get dawn, midday, and dusk. Yes. And uh, also, yay for kid versions of the Final Fantasy X characters. Oh, yeah, I love it. What do you want out of life, brother? He's not a troll. No, I, that, that's Hawaiian. I, I, I do a terrible Hawaiian accent, to be honest. Like, I need to be warmed up to it. Like, I can't just, like, some people can just, like, jump into accents. No, not me. Being indecisive. I do like uh -huh. that they indecisive like my storyline where I turned out to become a dream. I do like that they question your answers to make you feel bad. <laughs> They're like, what? friends, is that really important? Like, stop! Just stop! That's what I chose! Do you really want to broaden your horizons? Midday. Oh, um. So I know Sounds that good. midday is like the perfect center of everything. It is the more balanced. And the interesting thing too is about this part is they just ask you a bunch of questions and those questions are like a quick like personality test yep. to figure out the leveling experience that you want. And so Dawn is hard at the beginning, but it gets easier at, after level 40. Yeah. Uh, midday is about medium the whole way through, but dusk is super easy up to level 40. Right. And then it's a slog afterwards. So. That's a lot, guys. I got a big old heavy shield, and my, my, my combat stance is really bad for my back. Oh. So I know that there's something that happens here. Like if you lose, like something happens. And if you win, like it increases certain parts of your character or something like that. Yeah. Um, which, which is interesting too. Cause like, if you think like all the people who went through and played this game nonstop and like would be like, all right, so we did the intro sequence. Now let's try and get like, you know, sword and shield and then sword and staff and then like all that. And then also like with all the different like um, question an answers as well. Like mm -hmm. they go through all of these insane levels of uh, uh, like, I guess, testing. 
Yeah. Like variant testing. Right, because you have to test, like, you have to be like, all right, are all these good, you know? Yeah. Do these all work? There's so many different varieties. And, and, and it's not even like an actual tester that's doing this. This is like actual, like, non paid fans who are going through and doing all this stuff just to document it, to like right. sit there and reverse engineer this from a black box testing environment and like figure all of these like values and numbers and record everything. Like it is an insane and awesomely dedicated level of dedication. Yeah. Or love to this game. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Don't be a furred. A furred. It's ant version R Sora. But it's missing its chest. Oh, no. It's like it doesn't have a heart. heart. Like it's heartless. Heart. Anti-heart. Wow, where's my heart? You have it. Give it back. Give oh. me my heart. Oh, yeah, and this is, like, the other interesting thing, too, about this, like, monster or whatever. Um, like... D depending upon like the the initial questions that you ask like it changes its stats and it's like I guess to a small degree like how it fights you right yeah it's, it's really like it's kind of cool the way they did this oh yeah they put a ton of work and polish into this like into this single like oh no now he's gonna poop out some spears Spe spears speeders or abs oh i just got a chesty dance coming oh, out no, oh no. man i should have eaten all of those, those those hard candies oh it made me real sick oh but yeah like the level of polish that went into this tutorial alone yeah is like it's super impressive like i love it Oh, I leveled oh. up my strong. Ooh, nice. I wonder if that's like tied intrinsically to the health of the monster and, or if it's like because you actually level leveled up just now. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's probably some level of uh, like they expect you to get so much EXP by the end of this. Yeah. I mean, I know that he, um, depending upon the question or the the spear and I mean the staff and the the shield sword thing, um, I know that that changes like how you're. Ooh, ooh. tech one point. I think it's because I because you smacked the orb yeah. as it flew at you. Um. Oh. Oh, you beat him. Oh no! Oh, I just defaulted. Oh. Why did oh. you do that? Oh. Oh. I pooped down enough orbs, I'm fast again. Oh, I just wanted to find my heart. Don't be afraid. Seriously, it's okay. Oh, but don't be afraid. You hold the mightiest weapon of all. I kind of wonder if it's Mickey talking to him right now. The BFG. Oh, so don't forget. God, I feel like that would make this whole sequence way more terrifying. Terrifying. You are the one who will open the door. Oh, Seriously, oh let me out. I gave the key to Minnie and she left me. I think what's frightening about him is the size of his irises. Yeah. They're well, like 80% his eye. Yeah. Oh, Haley Joel Osman, you're a baby. <laughs> Give me a break, Kyrie. Sora, you lazy bum. I knew that I'd. <laughs> so I love how Sora is very much in oh, like a early two thousands, like Are you still fashion. It yeah. Free. With like the giant chain and the the, the baggy jacket and the big old flared pants. What's that place? But like so Kyrie's sense of fashion is like Say Kyrie. ageless almost yeah because like 
Whatever is the tank top with the sport undershirt, bra, whatever you want to call that thing, with a skirt ever going to go out of style? Yeah. Well. I do love they have, like, ridiculously oversized shoes. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, she's not even wearing shoes. She's wearing clogs. Let's be honest. They're Crocs before Crocs were a thing. No, those are, those are clogs. Well, they're not made of wood. Clogs aren't necessarily made of wood. It is a style of shoe. Okay. I only know this because chefs wear clogs. Because they are super comfortable and they're easy to take on and off when you're at work. All right. Because nothing beats taking off your shoes after a fucking eight, like, four-hour dinner rush. Yeah. And then kicking your feet up at the bar or you know in the back in the back where you store the trash, and you take off your clogs and you kick your feet up and you smoke a cigarette. <laughs> nothing will beat that sensation. Oh, Square Enix when oh. you had when you went through your belt phase. Oh my and everything God. had belts on it. Poor Lulu. I'm wearing a dress made of belts. This doesn't chafe at all. Nope, because magic. Magic, pew pew. Oh, I'm a wizard. Destiny Islands. No, this isn't Destiny. Destiny. No. Here's your ghost, Sora. <laughs> you can never die. You're a guardian. A Gordian? A Gordian. Just like Gord running around with a gun? <laughs> oh, I'm a Gordian! Yeah. Two logs, one cloth, one, one rope. rope. Get it! Get it! Counting on you! Kill. Do it! Make it so, number Sora. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. All I can think of now is Sora and the Sortas. <laughs> From that one video that you sent me a long time ago. I've got log. Obtain log. Log obtain. Please update log. Start date. Hello, uh, Walker. What's happening, man? See? See? He's not just troll. <laughs> God. Selfie thinks she's in. A, well, I don't know what the hell he just said. To be honest, she thinks she's in charge. Oh, Let's okay. be honest, she is. All right. So, oh, Final Fantasy so Ten. Final Fantasy Eight. Yep. And then Titus is also Final Fantasy VIII. Wanna want, do? Wanna do 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 I love how she uses a jump rope. Also, isn't there something like if you beat her in a duel, you get experience or you get some like a special item? I don't remember. Oh, you just got slapped. Slap chop. Get her. Get her. Beat that little girl. I mean, uh. Win your duel, Steve. Stop running around, you slap chop. But that's what she does. Like, her, this is the whole point of having a whip. Even though technically it should be Quistus, not, yeah. you know, so. But I did like their, like, kind of fun way of having, like, the whip weapon. The, the whip slash nunchucks. Yeah. Even though her nunchucks were gigantically oversized and well, comical. Final and Fantasy game. Yeah, but even then, like, they made fun of her for having gigantic nunchucks. Weapons. Cowpoo! 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 If you eat the cowpoo fruit. Oh, oh okay. leveled up, girl. Level up. What up, lady? What up? Oh no! Get away! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! 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 I oh. oh, beat her. Yeah! Beat her. Yeah! Be dead. Oh yeah! Beat it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, right. Wait. Now we know who the strongest is, don't we? Was that do all in our mind? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Let's do this. Plays for kids. This is serious. And then all of a sudden you you start playing. What was it called? Oh! What did was you like that, Walker? Did you like that? What was it? That weird ass game that they played in the, the giant orb of water? Uh, Blitzball. Oh, yeah. That game was terrible. It was uh, all right for its time. Uh, yeah, I guess so. But right, I, right, I, right. I hated that even then. Um, Walk is a very tech fight. Get that. Ooh. You Ooh. gotta take it like that. Oh. oh, straight to the face, people. If there's anything you can learn from this fight, is take the balls to the face equals Always. tech. Always balls to the face. 
um, I hated Blitzball. Really? Absolutely loathed it. I thought Blitzball was okay, but it was one of those like... Oh no, you're gonna lose! I am. You have terrible tech, Steve. What is up with this? No, Waka, I don't want to play your stupid game. I just want to hit you in the face that's with my why, sword. That's why you gotta like get closer and slap the, the ball into his face. I think I actually have to be further away. Do you have to be further away? I don't remember. It, the, right now, the ball is arching over him. Oh, okay. I had it down like the first time, but now it's all like, oh god, oh god, what are you doing, Steve? You're so bad oh, at video god. games. Oh my god, Sora, you need to, you need to. What, what is he doing? <laughs> he, he just knows. See, you gotta be closer. Maybe. Oh, we beat him. Hey. Oh, hey, man. No, brother, you gotta talk like this. Do you know the way? Do you know the way? The way to the Paupu fruit? Oh, God. The Paupu fruit? No. No. If we all eat a Paupu fruit together, we'll all be friends forever. No. Dark flashbacks. Forever and ever. Dark flashbacks. Ever and 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 ever. No, please. Not like this. Yes, like this. Not like this. Always like this. Oh, by the way, everybody. I got truth. I'm I'm sure you're all like were weirded out by the fact that we're having such a long episode. Are they? But because of the length of Kingdom Hearts, we're just like, you know what? Let's go long. <laughs> Everyone loves it long. Hey. Long and, oh god, getting beat by a stick. God, he actually has, like, a stick. Yeah. Like, you feeling lucky? I'm gonna beat you with this stick. Jesus. And you're just like, what up, boy? If my parents actually love me, they have a, they have a garage that I can build stuff in. But his, like, his stick would hurt. Yeah, but just so Soros could kill. My it has a point. You're not going to kill someone with that. Have you ever stabbed a person with a 2x4 sharpened to a tip? Yes. Well, not specifically a 2x4, but yes. Yeah. You could kill a person with that. I'm pretty sure that's happened in a movie before. I think that movie was uh, Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> Because everything in Kevin the Woods was so realistic. Uh, yeah, just like how I've learned everything in life wow. by watching Evil Dead. Wow, Titus, you were ridiculously is it, easy. Is it Titus or Titus? Titus? <sighs> Titus? Depends on your. Depends on where you're from. What does it have to do with where I'm from? Because uh, I believe so. Like the Japanese pronunciation is Titus, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but like the Western pronunciation just like, is Titus. Just like Aries, Aries and Arius. Yes. Oh my God! I, I absolutely hated everybody at my school who was a part of our anime club. Oh yeah. Yes. Because. <sighs> no, I went in the shack. I, I, I don't know how to put. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Ooh, say it. And I'm gonna come off poorly by saying this, but I don't care right now. No. Oh. So oh, I got no money, Tom. Being one of the very few Asian people in my predominantly Caucasian high school. Oh. Uh, and especially being Japanese, yeah, I always got asked the question of, "Oh my God, you speak Japanese? So sugoi!" And and yes, basically, I got the whole like, "You are oh, oh my God." How the hell is he jumping like eight feet in the air? He's and he's, Riku. He's your rival. <sighs> Whatever. Um, I, I, I I fell into the trope of being the only Asian guy in uh, a high school uh, anime, or in a college anime club kind of deal. Yeah. And so I was always like the one no, that everybody ow. wanted to spend time with and everybody like wanted to like involve me in their weird little anime conversations or whatever even when it was things that like i had zero interest in right anyways <laughs> um 
going back to the Aries thing, uh, I remember I was... Oh. Wait, why do you keep score when you lose, but nobody else does? Well, it's just between me and Riku. Oh, okay. Um, I forgot that he has that... Uh, that... The kick? Yeah, the kick up. Yeah. And I don't have my roll yet, which is frustrating, because mm -hmm. the roll is the just bread and butter in this game. But um, I remember one time I got into a conversation about Final Fantasy VII before I even knew what Final Fantasy VII was. Right. And I remember somebody sitting there and talking about a character called Arian. And I was like, who the fuck is Arian? I don't know. Arian if. I don't even get it. And um, after talking to a person, I started playing Final Fantasy VII. And uh, I was playing it, and I was really into the game, and then I was talking to people, and they're like, oh, so what's your load at? And I was like, oh, I have, uh, I usually have Cloud, Tifa, and Ares. And they're like, oh, you mean Aria. <laughs> and I was like, who the fuck is Aria? And they're like, that's the, cha that's the correct pronunciation of her name. I was like, what do you mean the correct pronunciation? Yeah. Her name is spelled A-R-I-E-S. Ares. And they're like, well, in the Japanese version, which is the true version of the game. I hate that. It's Aria. And I was like, oh, what? I was dodging. <laughs> it's, it's bullshit. And, the controls are all wrong. <laughs> I, I remember like sitting there being like, who cares if it's the true version or not? Like, it's the same exact. This is this is before I understood like how um, uh, like localization sometimes works. Yeah. And I was like, it's the same exact game from Japan to America. Like, the only thing they do is they just translate the game. And this dude went on this like. Yeah. What Riku? Now who's the champion? Oh, now it's one to one, and you give me five points. Yeah, and and I, a push on. And I remember <laughs> like getting into this like, shh, like this dude had like a fucking fifty minute speech. Really? Like it, basically, it was the entirety of our class. Just like this, this fucking speech is building up to be the entirety of our fucking episode. Um. I just remember him like going on about all the tiny, minute, ridiculous minutia things of the difference between the Japanese version and the US version and how the Japanese version was so much better and you could do all these things oh my God. and how you could get um, Zero Bahama in the Japanese version and you couldn't get it in the American version without hacking the game because really there was that weird like I've always offshore macro reactor that you could go to where right. you walk into the area and all of a sudden a text box would appear and it would have like go away and then it had like three options and then you can click down once more to go to an invisible option and so like I remember that apparently people thought that that was like some type of bug or something like that or it was like a, a glitch that they they didn't remove properly. I don't remember what it was to be honest. It's been fucking like 20 years. That's why we need to go out there and find out. Um just sitting here won't change a thing. He then went on to speak about how he had a friend who worked at SquareSoft Japan, you. okay. If you who here, worked on I Final Fantasy VII, and Are told you? him that in the Japanese version, you could get an item called a branch from the Tree of Life, which you could then use you? to resurrect Ares two people share one, after she died. But the thing was, is that there was an item you would get, and uh, I think he said Come you had to keep, on. like... You, try it. What are you, talking? <laughs> you had to, like, purchase the, the whatchamacallit first, and, or the, the, the flower without her, like, just right. giving it to you, and then you had to keep the flower until she died, 
and then you took the flower to the underwater Mako reactor, and then it would infuse with the Mako from there and turn into the branch of life. And then you could take that and you could uh, resurrect Ares by going back to, uh, but you could only do it after the 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 the, the, the land of the ancients like was glowing. Yeah, because like all the souls were flying out or whatever it was. Like you had to go back then, and then Ares would appear, and then you could use the branch on her soul to resurrect her from the dead, and then you would go. No, you know you had to. You, whatever. It doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah. I'm just talking out of my ass about this. No, I remember all the really dumb theories on how to get Eris back. And yeah. it's like, no, she's no. dead. She's dead. She's gone. You're done. Move on. And it like, the idea of her being brought back in general, I think, just detracts from the impact of that. Like, you yeah. never had a moment where it's like, oh, no, this character is dead. Yeah. Like, they're gone. No, they're gone forever. Forever and ever. You know, I do have to give Square that they did a really good job of capturing the feel of, like, a Disney cartoon. Oh, no, they most definitely did. Um, Everything about the right... But then again, you also got to remember, this is during the, the era of, like... like the golden this, era. This was, this was uh, Square and uh, Disney Interactive working together. Yep. So it was like uh, Square had, like... <laughs> an ass. Um, hey there, Donald. Good morning. So you had uh, like the the writing staff for um, Disney doing the Disney aspect, and you had the writing staff from Square doing the the Final Fantasy aspects, which was basically brood, look cool, and show up occasionally. Yeah. And uh, then you just had all of uh, Square, like. Also, Donald is the royal court magician. Yep. What is Daisy? Is that know. a handmaiden of Queen Minnie? Yeah, I think so. She's a handmaiden. Do handmaidens usually have crowns? Hey, Sora. Have you heard about the legendary power of the Palpu fruit? Uh, Could you not be this close to me? You're kind of creeping me out. With your weird she's super close, and look at her. She's puffing her lips out. She's kind of like puffing her lips out like this. You together forever. Maybe you have. You know the fruit. I gotta try it sometime. I gotta try it sometime. Try it with me, Sora. Our souls will be intertwined forever. And on that note, I believe we're gonna call it. Walk out! Help me! Nah, man. You on your own. Alright, everybody. <laughs> you have yourselves a good one. Bye. <laughs>